At the top tonight, the Nueces County Sheriff is speaking out about the jail being at near full capacity and how it could result in a failed jail inspection. That's right. Sheriff Hooper tells our Bill Churchill that he believes the court system, which is back to conducting some in person jury trials, needs to speed up the process in order to help relieve the strain the jail is experiencing. But what do the judges have to say about that? We find out in our top story tonight. Sheriff Hooper taking to social media to state that his staff is dealing with a penitentiary type atmosphere with 89 murder suspects under their care, still waiting for their day in court. 1700 days. That is how long the man seen here, Joseph Tejeda, a murder suspect in the 2016 killing of Brianna Wood, has remained behind bars waiting for trial. He's one of more than 1100 inmates currently putting the Nueces County Jail at near max capacity. The reason for this 99% jail population and the fact that we've been over 90% now for months is because the courts aren't moving. Sheriff J.C. Hooper tells me he is hopeful of the court system that was brought to a halt during the COVID-19 pandemic can now catch up to get trials heard. Courts in Nueces County returned to in-person hearings about a month and a half ago. That's a lot of victims, but more importantly, that's a lot of victims' families that deserve closure and these cases need to be heard. I am definitely trying to move the in-jail criminal docket um, as much as possible and make it a priority. Presiding judge in a Klein of the 214th District Court says since their return, judges have worked on every kind of case, including five jury trials. Here's a copy of Monday's docket on her desk. 27 cases, I believe, and they're all in jail cases. Judge Klein tells me while jury trials are possible, they are still very difficult to hold. For example, judges have tried to speed up the process by pairing up. While one judge is in a jury trial, another will hear that judge's docket. So I understand the sheriff's frustration and hopefully it's going to take less time if all of us work together. The sheriff confirming to 3 News that the jail recently underwent its annual inspection last week by the Texas Commission on Jail Standards. While the commission has not yet released its findings to the public, the sheriff believes the jail will be found in non-compliance. The reason? 99% Almost all your housing bunks are full, and then you also have people in holding cell. And when those people stay in that holding cell for more than 48 hours, that is noncompliance. If found noncompliant, Hooper says he'll have 30 days to come up with an action plan and about a year to fix it. But he says the high population of inmates is the hardest issue to tackle. The only way you can bring the population down is by getting these cases adjudicated or moving prisoners from this facility to another county jail. In the meantime, the sheriff credited his staff with keeping the jail safe and secure and says he's been in contact with other county jails to see if they have any beds available. Something he says isn't easy because even if they do find available beds, they'll cost money. You're going to pay another sheriff 60, 70, 80 dollars a day to house your inmates. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Thank you, Bill, and the Texas Commission on Jail Standards tells 3 News it's anticipated the inspection report will be released by next month.